In this video, I will share a guide on how to install the latest version of the menu mod in Grand Theft Auto V Legacy Edition. We will be installing the brand new 2.0 version of the menu release, which is probably the most popular mod pack that helps you spawn cars, fly in the sky, do scenarios, use or even make your builds, and so much more. So, welcome to GTA Wood. Leave a like, subscribe, and let's begin. First, open the official page of menu and download the menu pack from here. I would also like to give a massive shout out to It's Just Curtis for continuously improving the menu mod, and I request everyone to join their Discord server and support them the best you can. To install the menu mod, you also need Script Hook V, which you can download from here, and you also need ASI Loader, which you can download from this page. Once you download all the files, it's time to install the menu mod, and here are all the files I downloaded. I need you to put this folder on the right side of the screen and open your GTA 5 folder. So this is my game folder, and we will put this on the left side of the screen. Here are all the locations where you can find your GTA 5 folder. First, Open the menu mod folder that we downloaded from this page. Open this folder, and you need to select the first folder, the second file, and the third file. Copy these files and I need you to paste them directly into the GTA 5 main folder, just like I did on your screen. After you copy these files, go back here and we will now install ASI Loader, which I downloaded from this page. Open this folder, and from here, you only need to select the second file. Copy this file and paste it inside the Grand Theft Auto 5 main folder. And just like that, the file is copied. After you copy ASI Loader, go back here. And we will now install Script Hook V, which I downloaded from this page. I need you to open this folder, and then you need to go to the first bin folder. From here, you need to select the first file, which will help us run the mod in story mode only, and the last file, which is Script Hook V. Now copy both files and paste them into the GTA 5 folder. And with that, it's time to test our mod pack. So, here I am in the game, and first I will show how to open and close the menu. To open the menu mod, you need to press the F8 button on your keyboard twice, meaning you have to press the F8 button two times, and this will open your menu mod. For laptop users with no F keys on their keyboard, you guys need to press the N button plus the number 8 button on your keyboard, which should trigger the F8 key in Windows. If nothing works and you are unable to use the menu mod, you can watch my detailed menu troubleshooting video. The link for that is in the description. To close the menu, you simply press the backspace button on your keyboard, and do not worry, every keyboard has this button. But now your menu mod is installed, and you can do so many things. For example, I am spawning this car, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. Let me know if you guys want me to make a detailed menu usage video. With that, all the links are in the description. Leave a like, subscribe, and watch this video on your screen.